Hey everyone, it's Chad, and what you're watching right now is my very first attempt at cutting with my brand new Langmire Crossfire Pro from Langmire Systems. I bought this to upgrade. There was a couple of upgrades that I wanted on this system over the previous Langmire table that I had. And one was the torch height control. Another was a little bit more area on the table, which was a challenge because I had to really move a lot of stuff out of my shop to make that happen. But as you're watching here, notice all the sparks. What's happening is two things. One, I don't have the settings correct for 3 16 The file that I was cutting was from a friend and he had cut 13 gauge, I believe. And I thought that the file was for 3 16 He had some of the parts cut in 3 16 and he didn't have it marked on some of the other files. And I just assumed that they were all the same metal. Bad assumption. Always communicate what uh, your cut is supposed to be for. I should have asked. We went back and uh, we edited the file and fixed that cut. And what you're about to see is first cut where we actually set the parameters to 3 16 No sparks. And it is just ripping through. You can see underneath. It's just a beautiful cut all the way around. So just kind of sit back and enjoy this cut. It's amazing. And every time I get an opportunity to cut with this, I'm just dumbfounded that I'm cutting steel 3 16 quarter inch, even thicker, right here in my own home. All right, what you're about to see is the second bracket. And this is after we have all the settings just the way we want them. I'm using the 875 Microcut from HTP, and I have to say, I absolutely love this machine. I pursued HTP back after or during Fabtech uh, in November of last year, and after a little bit of time, uh, around January, we came to some uh, an agreement as far as what was expected of me and what they would do for me, and so they are one of my newest sponsors and i just have to say thank you so much to htp and believing in me and giving me the opportunity to show off their products uh, i have to say the cuts are just amazing with this particular uh, setup and these brackets right here i ended up not using them we ended up going back and redoing these brackets and adding some relief cuts but the brackets themselves, I'm keeping them and I'm going to turn them into some shelf brackets, but I'm not using them for the actual reason I'm making these brackets is for that HTP 875 micro cut. I wanted to create a way to get that up off that, off that uh, cart that I had it on because it was just kind of in the way. The doors, every time I wanted to open them, it was in the way. But having it up off the floor and on the wall made really good sense and I actually got that idea from, I want to say it's Chopway. I'm going to actually put a link to his Instagram down in the description. So give him a give him a heads up. Go look at his channel and see what he's got going on. He's got the exact same plasma setup that I have, uh, the exact same micro cut uh, and the exact same table. And he sent me the plan. But look at that cut. Isn't that beautiful? Right off the... I mean, there's almost no slag on it at all. It's just absolutely beautiful. When you have your uh, settings perfect, I mean, it just, the cleanup on it was just amazing. Uh, here I am bending the second brackets. This is, a, I don't even actually have video of the cuts, but we put in some relief cuts so that uh, we could bend these on my brake. The brake that I was using is an Eastwood, and it's just, it's really only supposed to bend like 16 gauge. So uh, what we did is we, we basically left about an inch and a half along the entire bend. So it was bending very little. And that, that particular shot, I was hammering it, but uh, in the second bracket, I got a little bit better finesse. And uh, here we are welding it up. This is the actual, the very first weld with the HTP Pro Pulse. 220 MTS. I have to say, once again, just like with the microcut, 
I was just dumbfounded at just how well this machine made me weld. These welds were not perfect, but they were so close. I barely, I didn't really even have to grind them, but uh, there was a couple of high spots and we decided to uh, powder coat ultimately and the welds were just beautiful. And if you notice, almost no sparks, almost no splatter. I mean, it was just amazing. This is the backside and uh, that was the penetration through the relief cuts that we made and it was just fantastic. All right, so here what you're seeing is we're cutting out the feet and spacers. This was actually a second file and they were separate cuts initially. When we went back and we did the final part, we actually nested everything all on one piece and we cut it all out of 3 16 Initially, the person who made the original shelf brackets had the actual shelf was, I think, uh, made out of 13 gauge, and the feet and spacers were made out of the 3 16 And it makes sense that the spacers were definitely made out of 3 16 because it you needed that extra space to drop the feet of the HTP 875 down into the ground, or down into the <laughs> down into the bracket so that it uh, doesn't come off the wall. Uh, very clever design. But we just decided, uh, what the heck, we'll just make it all out of 3 16 make it one cut, and we nested everything. I did not videotape that for whatever reason, uh, but you get an idea. Here, this is the first cuts, and that's what I was really trying to capture. All right, so as I mentioned before, I just have a, a small break from Eastwood, and as you can see in this bracket, there's the relief cuts. That This is the actual second set of brackets that we made, and I'm bending it up using uh, both the Eastwood break, and then once I had the break bent a little bit, bend it a little bit, that second part I bent by hand. It was pretty easy. All right, now here I am actually welding up the second bracket. Originally, when you saw the earlier clip, that was my buddy Doug Henneco. Uh, you can actually see his sticker on the side of the Propulse 220 MTS, which uh, I'm welding with right now. And uh, technically, it's not a sticker. It's actually a magnet. If you want your magnet on the side of one of my tools, uh, whether it's the welder or the plasma cutter, Send me a magnet. I'd be happy to put it on there. I'm not going to put any stickers on these. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, keep them as clean as possible. So magnets only, but I'd love to have yours on the side of my welder or plasma cutter. So if you have one, send it. But as I'm saying earlier, this HTP Pro Pulse 220 MTS is absolutely fantastic. And if you can zoom in on these welds, uh, I would not call myself a good welder. I love welding and I'm learning and I'm getting better and I'm taking classes when I get opportunity. Of course, with the whole uh, COVID-19 thing going on, taking classes is not a, an option right now, but just look at those welds and they're, they're not even cleaned up yet. They're just uh, flat out, there you go, cleaned up. They look just beautiful. Uh, some, of the, my, some of my best welds, uh, I'm just absolutely pickled uh, with how well these turned out. So you can see here, these are the relief cuts again and uh, I just have to close those up. And here's the great thing about having relief cuts. While uh, it makes it easier to bend, it also gives you the opportunity to weld up. And once you've welded those relief cuts up, that bend is actually stronger than if you just bent it and had no relief cuts at all. It is an extremely structurally sound way of having a bend in a piece of metal that you are working with. So. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what else to say about that. But look how few sparks I'm getting. Just amazing. I'm, I'm editing right now and I'd rather be outside welding. I just, I love it. I was really torn with the idea of leaving this kind of an industrial look or powder coating it to get a better finish. Ultimately, I went with powder coating. I was extremely happy with the way those welds look and I'm kind of sad that I covered them, but I was really happy with the way this wrinkle coat turned out. So check it out finished up close as well as on the wall. I just want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the idea of being able to fabricate in your own home. And if you are interested in a Langmire, we do have a, an affiliate link with them as well as a discount code. 
and the discount code is mancrafting i'll have that down in the description if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any and last thing if you want to see your name in the video just like these people support me on patreon thanks to all my patreon supporters